This nice footage of the German advance in Latvia in July of 1941 goes well with the second part of the series on occupied Latvia. In part one we saw how conscription was initiated by the occupation authorities building police battalions that would eventually be converted into frontline Waffen SS formations. Der Stadtrand von Riga ist in deutscher Hand. Here we will look at the process Latvian volunteers went through when joining the labor service, which was comparable to the German Reichsarbeitsdienst. At the end of the video, I've added raw footage of Riga just after the Germans entered, so stick around. It's worth it. Before I jump into the content, I'd like to respond to a chain of comments that were recently posted. If you've seen my videos, you know that I use primary source documents that I translate and then show directly. A number of viewers asked why the Germans would write the reports in English and pointed out that the translated documents paper look old, so it must be fake. Yes, it's fake. I should really take that as a compliment to my Photoshop skills. I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters for making the purchasing of these documents possible. If you're not yet a supporter, please consider becoming one. As a supporter, you also get access to exclusive footage that can't be shown here. Also, a Russian asked why I don't differentiate between the words Russia and the Soviet Union, or Russian and Communist. This is a great question, and I agree completely. Unfortunately, he deleted his question before I had the chance to answer. When I translate original sources, I leave the words the way they are. The original authors didn't understand, or didn't care to understand, the nuanced differences. This short clip showing a recruiting poster brings everything together for today's topic. It states, Young men who were born between 1920 and 1922 from Ostland can volunteer for the Arbeitsdienst, which was the German labor service. Labor service is honorable service. You can have the honor of joining the uniformed ranks of the Reichsarbeitsdienst in Germany and serving for a year. Applications are being accepted in your regional occupational headquarters from the 1st to the 31st of January, 1942. This propaganda film that was shown in theaters before feature films intended to excite young Latvians to join up for a year of labor service in Germany. The narrative that all foreign workers in Germany were slave laborers is simply false. As common sense would dictate, during the years when it seemed that Germany would win the war, living and working in the economically advanced German society seemed an opportunity to many. As the war progressed and the prospect became less advantageous, forced conscription became more common. Germany needed the workforce and if enough volunteers could not be found, then they would be found. At the end of the war, it made little sense for any of the Ostarbeiter, or laborers from the East, to claim to be there voluntarily. The Soviets were less interested in these nuances and saw repatriated laborers as politically suspect. As we can see, the idea was to make the selection process look rigorous. To be accepted was an accomplishment worthy of striving for. There was no bait and switch. It was clear to all for which cause they'd be working. Here we see him with his new salute, wishing luck to those waiting in line to sign up. Having been accepted as members of the few, the proud, they are given a pep speech by representatives of the Reichsarbeitsdienst. They all look determined, focusing on the serious matter at hand, which just might have been staged for the camera. The families look on proudly. You are either with us or against us.
Rations for the two-day train journey back to Germany are loaded into the boxcars at the train station. Friends, family and girlfriends have gathered to bid farewell to the labor service volunteers. They had signed up for one year of service, but as things turned out, it's likely that many of them would never see each other again. And now, here's the footage of Riga from early July of 1941. Thanks for watching and please remember to subscribe.